Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel where we start every dang vlog off in our car. Right, Emmy? Can you say right? <laughs> but today, of course, I'm running behind as always. Also, we have a birthday party go to. Whose birthday party are we going to? Who are we going to see? We're going to play with Cohen. He's got his uh, second birthday today. That is my best friend's son, my other best friend. I got Leah and Laria. I love the Ias, I guess. But um, it's her son's second birthday today, and they're doing like a big water uh, slide and water activities and things like that. And Emery's so excited. Are you so excited? Are you so silly? So You're so silly. You just woke up. You having a good nap? Are you ready to go play? Okay. Let's go play. Ready? Let's do it. Say so, yeah. Let's go. Welcome to the moon. I really get to click on what I'm looking for. This is a moon that I can win. Kiss on my If you want to. birthday party was so much fun I didn't get to get as much recorded uh, for the day as I wanted to but her and I both are so so dang tired uh, we're just gonna go inside we're gonna take a nap and then I will pick you guys up in a little bit Good night <laughs> Good job. Good job. what's Give out me, there Give me what's Wait. out there Me, no Wait. you tell us stay outside you mean octopus. You mean octopus. You can't come inside. My house. My house. No, my house. <laughs> no, my house. No, not my house. No, my house. Is it all better? It's all better. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no. Not eat mommy mouse outside. That's her. Watch out, my face. Amber, you so silly. You got a bigger personality, girl. I mean, uh. Imagination. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. Her dreaming. <laughs> well, in my bed? Okay. Come on. Lay my bed? Okay. She said, okay. Wanna lay my bed? Okay. Come on. Come on. Push me in my bed. <laughs> it's on my mind. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Her lay in your bed? You say good night? Good night. No. Good night, Daddy. Good night, baby. That's good you. Good night. Good, good night. She was tired, right? 
Oh, she got the house. Come on, bears. Do you want to back in your bed? Come on, back Come in bears, the bed. Get back in the bed. Come on. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep, my bears. There you go, my bears. Good bears. I do not know. Okay, go in that night, bear. Do not know, bear. Do not know, bear. Give her a kiss and say night night. I want you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. All right, you guys. That's basically everything that I have for today. I'm so sorry that I didn't have much recorded. But uh, <laughs> Emery is being hilarious. The dogs are starting to bark. And Kellen is... Um, tired from his day of being lazy for Father's Day weekend. But I did want to also give you guys a small update on everything that's going on with the baby. So I had my, um, I'm 30 week, 31 weeks now. Um, I had my checkup this past Thursday, my 30 week checkup. And now I am set up every three weeks. I'm now every other week. So I'll start rotating weeks. And then, um, I believe soon um they're gonna start checking me just to make sure i'm not like dilated or anything um but i have really really bad heartburn and it has started uh the third trimester it just like kicked off and came on back and then i really haven't been able to eat as much so what i started doing because i want to make sure that the baby is getting all the weight that it's supposed to is I started drinking protein shakes. So when I'm not like hungry, but I know I need to be eating, I drink a protein shake and that kind of fills the void of, you know, the baby getting hungry or something. But then I do follow it up with a meal eventually throughout the day. It's just hard to work full time and then stop and eat and all that other stuff. And I do bring snacks to work, so I'm fine with that. But, um... The baby is moving a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like you can feel it. Like it moves so much that sometimes it hurts when it's moving. Um, when they say like you get shortness of breath, I mean like it's so serious. My breath gets so short. Like I can't even bend over because I run out of breath so bad. But um, I have been um, nesting, I guess you could say, because... I, I told you guys in a couple of vlogs ago that I wanted to redo the whole house. So we ended up redoing the whole house. We finally finished the flooring. I'm going to do a video of that because I still have to finish painting. As you can see, there's still a little bit of brown right here behind me. And I actually want to get rid of all of the brown and I want to paint all of that white. So, oh, excuse me. We just had Olive Garden. But... I still have a lot of things to do with that. And I've been really, really anxious just because I feel like I don't have anything together. Like, we're still working on the nursery. I have to get a crib mattress for the crib. I got a dresser, but only half of the dresser is here. So I have to order the other half of the dresser. It, it makes no sense, but that's just a whole, a whole long story. Um, I really just feel super, super unprepared for this baby. And I was talking to Kellen about that earlier and he was like, not so much that he feels unprepared. It's just, it's, it's nerve wracking that we're having a second child in like the next eight to nine weeks. Um, just cause like, we don't know how Emery's going to act. Like I, I ha I think she's going to be absolutely in love with being a big sister and having another baby around because she absolutely loves babies but it is still really scary um and we just want to make sure that like we have everything that the baby needs but we haven't even had a baby shower yet so I'm sure we're going to receive a lot of items from that and I'm just I'm just getting super impatient I guess Emmy, what are you doing? Come here. Come here.
when I was asking Helen, um, what are you more nervous about? Because he said he is nervous and he is more nervous about like the newborn stage. And when we first found out we were, were pregnant with Emory, of course, that was like the number one thing I was super nervous about also. But that is something I'm not worried about because, you know, we've been there, we've done that. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. So that part isn't as scary for me. It's like I said, it's just, I feel so unprepared. Like I, we don't know what the gender is still. So I don't have clothes for the baby. I don't have diapers, which that's my own fault that I don't have diapers. Cause I probably could have gone out and gotten those yet. But like I said, we're still waiting on the baby shower and I want to see what all we get at the baby shower before I start jumping in and buying things. But the fact that the nursery isn't together yet kind of freaks me out too. But the baby's not going to be in the nursery for a while. So, And then um, another thing Helen brought up was that Emery is still not in her own bed. So like she will start off in our bed at night. And then once she falls asleep, because I'm getting up and down like 50 billion times in the middle of the night to go pee, I'll pick her up and I'll put her in her toddler bed. And her toddler bed is in our room. So, the fact that she's not trained to her bed is a big thing also. And then, um, you know, the fact that we're going to have a newborn there too and I'm going to be nursing and it's just going to be hard to be going back and forth with her in the middle of the night and going back and forth with a newborn in the middle of the night. So that's like my biggest fear. One of my biggest fears. Well, not like really a fear, but like something that I'm personally nervous about, just like him. But this is all God's will. He's had a plan. Just, I want to make sure we get that nursery done. Like I, we finished, like we finished all the flooring in it. I have all of the baseboards painted. I just have to touch up some walls and then finish painting one wall because I'm doing an accent wall, uh, for a different color. And then I just really need to get decor and furniture put in there. But like I said, after the baby shower, we can figure all that stuff out because since we don't know the gender, what I had done was request gift cards from like friends and family for the baby shower for gifts so that um when the time does come we can just you know purchase things as needed and the fact that the baby is born during the summer you know that's a pretty big factor because the baby's just going to be naked most of the time like we live in Alabama and it stays like a hundred and 110 degrees during the summer so it stays hot year round or not year round it stays hot and it's just too much to put a onesie on a newborn so for a while the baby's just gonna be in a diaper but um I'm so sorry that this vlog has been like eh today it was hard for me to pick up the camera at the birthday party because there was so much stuff going on but that's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate you all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!